Hi, I'm Susan Fuchs, founder of Waterwheel. This video is an introduction how to use it. Waterwheel is an online interactive platform exploring water as a topic and metaphor. It is free, accessible with just a click on your browser and open to everyone. It is a space where we can interact, present, perform, debate, share information and knowledge across cultures and generations about water. Water is an essential element. It's a big part of our body. It's a big part of our planet and it has an enormous impact in our lives at a social, political and cultural level. Let's have a look how to use water wheel. Each time I arrive on the homepage it will look different as the wheel consists of the latest uploaded media. On the top right I have access to the fountain map which chronicle water events. I can click on the tap and partake in presentations, workshops and performances happening live in real time or go here to the news. On the left, the about gives an overview on the project. How it works is a series of video tutorials. On the media center, I have access to a repository of water from around the world by type of media, image, animation, video, audio and document that I can all download or watch. I'm going to type here in the search a keyword well. We found here some Nama holes. Now, these were holes that were made by local Aboriginal people for a reliable water supply. Um, I can also uh, take the embed code and put it on my website, on my blog or share on Facebook. Now the fountains are color coded. The orange ones are not happening on the tap. Here the black one is a tap event. I click and arrive on the tap dock which gives a description, the list of the crew members, the presenters, performers, a list of media which I use on the tap, the schedule. As it is live now, I can click on the top right, enter, and I'm asked to log in. So I put a name, I agree with the term of use, and log in. I can also arrive on the tap by clicking on the left on tap, arrive to the tap doc list and see that uh, the super d tap is live now so it's the same procedure i arrive on the tap doc and can enter the tap is loading here bottom right i can type in the chat and comment in questions i can hover here and see i'm alone as an audience and there is one crew member I can go full screen, escape the full screen if I want to go back to the chat. Wow, there is a tap running. We should catch the water. Excellent. So I can comment and discuss with the audience here. Whatever you think of the carbon price, the ocean has already been paying the price of carbon emissions for years. Hi. Each book from uh, a student from the local school, along with a man from an older member of the community. Together, all of these boats will be launched. As a registered user, I can have extra interactive possibilities. I can add media, which will be uploaded on the Media Center. I can search my media here. I can also uh, comment on the media. 
for instance, here. And by submitting, it will be emailed to the author. Here it is, and I can receive a reply. I can also uh, comment on a tab. I can create a tab, add a tab, invite crew members to my tab, add media from the media center. On the tab, as a crew member, I have access to a palette of tools. I can put my webcam. We can be up to six webcam on the tab. We can move our webcams, place them, enlarge them, fade them, we can hide them, flip them. We can add visuals. Here it's a presentation with slides, so I can go from slide to slide, use some animations, put a video and an audio. I can draw and animate my drawing. I can use different colors and different size of brush. I can uh, use the different layers like this goes underneath and I can pull it up. I can also use layers here and change the color of the stage and clear the stage. At the end of the performance, I can also access the logs of the chats. I can create, add an event, which will go on the Fountains map. I can access social media. There is a Facebook group and a blog. Voila! This is in a nutshell the possibilities on Waterwheel. Cheers!